Hello guys! So today we're going to proceed with writing task one, a complex one, which is basically production. So uh, we're going to review a great example and we're going to focus on that one. So <clears throat> uh, writing task one, complex production. So uh, here I just wanted to say about all of these uh, words and uh, all of this, like let's say vocabulary, uh, which we usually we use in the complex uh, part of uh, the writing task one and uh, uh, describe uh, uh, the content of that kind of um, task and what exactly you have to write uh, in your answer. So basically we go to the complex and the production and then we start with stages. Let's say uh, here a production of wine where we see grapes, then we are doing a crushing and then fermentation, then pressing, filtration, uh, aging, bottling, degustation, all of these steps. So this is basically stages, we could, we could call it stages or steps or, or phases or parts. These basically are synonyms. We can use any of these words or we can use them in order to not to repeat one word uh, a couple of times we can use these synonyms so when we we describe a stage we have to say which stage is that first stage or second stage or whatever so in that case we have to say at the first stage at the second stage at the second stage at the final stage at the following stage at the next stage so we have to say step by step not to get confused not to rush from one stage to the uh, from, from the first stage to the last one just go step by step in order to be uh, sure that you don't miss any uh, stages between first and the last one between the feed and the let's say the product and uh, uh, to uh, to describe that maybe not details if it's a huge production just to describe with small uh small like uh, sentences what kind of uh, um, uh, actions happens within each stage so uh actually when we describe one of the uh, one of the first stages we have to say initial or primary and uh, uh, we need uh, um, to describe what is happening in your face first stage for sure so uh, we could use just I just used here sentences just like chemicals are added into water and uh, if you need to add more words and one of the treats is to say in a passive form let's say there is an addi there is addition of chemicals into water this is gonna make you uh, and get possibility of putting more words into your uh, into your task. First, I will go with an example. So, on the left hand side, we have a diagram, and uh, on the right hand side, we have an example answer on it. So, let's read the task. The diagram below shows how salt is removed from sea water to make it drinkable. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and to make comparisons where relevant. So, as you can see on this diagram, we have sea and there are some process of its treatment step by step. And at the end, it says integrated water supply system. So, water is goes through treatment process and it goes to the water supply system and uh, we're gonna start with introduction part where i explained in my previous lessons that you're gonna reward your first sentence which is this one so uh, we say the process of making drinkable water by removing salt from sea water is demonstrated by the diagram basically we are rewarding the first sentence and the first we go with body paragraph one where we're describing our first process which is treatment and the uh, deleting of these uh, salts and uh, go, uh, uh, back washing them back to the sea so uh, let's start with body Paragraph 1. As can be seen from the diagram, at the beginning of the process, uh, salt water is taken from the sea and is sent 
to a predetermined filter. So I'm just saying that we're getting this sea water and it's salt water basically and ascending it the first to the first process which is pretreatment pro process and further we're describing what is happening within this process at the first stage there is an initial filtration of the water and the a waste of a filter backwash so as you can see filter backwash at the following st stage through a membrane water molecules separated from salt and impurities here we are describing about what exactly happening within this membrane process. Basically, this is the second process. And um, uh, after that, uh, the concentrate of the salts and impurities return to the sea. And there uh, you can see from here, they were returned. From the first stage, they were returned from the second stage as well. At the next stage, water release from salts and impurities passes to post-treatment. So following process is false post-treatment process. And uh, we describe what exactly happening within this process. This is basically following paragraph. So we have three main processes, which we divided into three body paragraphs. And this is a third paragraph. Where chemical reagents as lime, chlorine, and the fluoride are added to the water for disinfection purposes. So we are saying about chemical treatment here and uh, about adding all of these chemicals in order to do disinfection of it. So after the treatment process, water is collected in a storage tank. So this is a final stage where pure water collected into the storage tank. So at the final phase, water is delivered by a pipeline uh, to water supply system so this is a final where we have uh, we have a supply uh, water which is going to water supply process and uh, here it could be distribution to some users or distribution among the plant and um, this is a final process of this uh, water treatment process and we go to the conclusion part and as i told you as sum up or we can say overall to sum up all of these additional words in order to show that this is conclusion overall the given process of making drinkable water consists of three main stages which include include filtration of the salt water and the chemical treatment so by filtration we put both of them pretreatment and this uh, water force remembering process and the final one is adding of the chemicals and we just concluded with this uh, uh, by means of summarizing of this diagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was just trying to give you an example of the production and explaining it step by stage. Could, uh, I hope that it will be very helpful uh, during your uh, IELTS exam. Have a good day. Bye!